Hello and welcome to the 2022 BAFTA Young Game Designers Award. I'm Ainel Tomlinson and I'm honoured to be guiding you through my favourite awards of the year. And what better way to celebrate than at the Home for Games, an arcade! Hey, hey, stay with me, stay with me. I have fond memories of playing my first ever video games in places just like this. And the games I played back then directly inspired me to get into the games industry. And that's what we at BAFTA want to achieve with our Young Game Designers Initiative, to inspire and unlock your potential to become the next big designers of the future. As always, the standard of entries has been extremely high, with even more young people getting involved in game design, from the conception stages to full-blown demos and finished titles that will intrigue many gamers worldwide. All of our finalists and winners receive a series of exclusive masterclasses, digital mentorship, careers advice for some of the industry's leading experts, the opportunity to attend a special showcase event at BAFTA's HQ in London, and a selection of goodies from our official partners. Speaking of which, a huge thank you to our partners Creative Assembly, Criterion Games, Epic Games, PlayStation, Tencent Games, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers Games, and Wizards of the Coast. We are hugely grateful for their year-round support. You know what? I've had a little look at some of the goodies from our finalists, and let's just say, some of them might not make it to their intended recipients due to shipping difficulties. <laughs> Today, we're here to celebrate the nominees who have been successful in wowing our judges with their inspiring and original gaming concepts and thought-provoking game design. Many have drawn on their own experiences to tell unique, refreshing stories, used their own personalities to help mold the characters, and focused on real-life events to help facilitate game mechanics. Our finalists have sensed the deeper impact video games can have on their audience. Games are inherently interactive and can help with empathy, understanding, and education. We've seen this reflected in the themes many of our finalist games have tackled, from gender identity and mental health to climate change. These themes are close to our young designers' hearts, and it's great to see how they found ways to communicate their ideas through the medium of games. We spoke with some games industry greats and our nominees about this. Let's take a look. I think it's uh, common and natural to think that because video games are fun and seen as frivolous entertainment by a lot of people, that they can't talk about or deal with serious subjects. Um, and I'm here to say that's not true. It's not true at all. Video games are art, and art can talk about any subject that you want to. Hi! Hello everyone, my name is Matisha. I'm Luca, and my entry for this competition is a game concept titled Xerophobic. Our game is called The Virus and follows a character named Sam through their adventure after clicking on the scam link and getting sucked into the computer. Abyss of Dreams is a game where you are the tester for a revolutionary new sleeping pill, which gives good dreams. However, these dreams have slowly begun to turn into nightmares and you must enter these dreams and fix the error. In Psychonauts 2, we had a game that was set inside the human mind, so naturally mental health was present on every frame of the game. We approached it uh, from a point of view of empathy and wanted to make a, a work that was about empathy. We, I feel, managed to, to make something that uh, tells the, the story in the right way and still can have humor and, and fun. The inspiration from my game came from mental health talks at school. This may not only be fun, but also helpful to players with anxiety issues. We also moved in the idea of online safety to hope our game spreads a positive message about being safe when browsing online. I decided to make the gender of my game's lead character ambiguous because I want players, regardless of their own gender, to feel represented by this character. It's been so special to be able to play Overwatch over the years and know that there is a hero that everyone can identify with. And then to move on with Apex Legends and the same thing, where there are people of all different backgrounds, there are people with different gender orientations, there are people with different levels of neurodiversity, being seen like that. What I particularly loved about this year's entries was there was a real focus on empathy, on mental health, just all of the things that we've seen the world kind of 
come to light in what's happened over the last couple of years. And seeing that being transformed and kind of being inspired by into the game designs that our young people are designing these days. Yes, games are fun, but it was so delightful to see some of the themes come through around climate change, uh, but also around anxiety and mental health and discovering more about yourself. My game concept is about managing a working class man called Barry and trying to help him improve his life without detrimenting his health, mental health or his financial situation too much. Our game is mostly about a teenage girl struggling with expectations of the world around her and we wanted to bring light into the situation and share it with everyone. Escape is an open world game where you explore a fantasy world and unlock its secrets. The world is based off the mind and emotions. I think when we see a character in a game grapple with trauma and loss and grief, it allows us the opportunity to relate. We maybe don't feel so alone because of it. And I think we fall in love with these characters. So recently I played a game called Adventures with Anxiety. It's a game where you are the anxiety uh, of a person, but it is shown as being a wolf. Uh, and you follow around this person and you, you see what someone with anxiety might feel like. You know, games are there to tell stories, but they are also there to help people experience uh, stories in different ways, and that's the power of games. As game designers, this is a brilliant opportunity for us to do something positive, like raising awareness to mental health, gender identity, environment issues, and more. It's just sort of like a reminder of like what we could probably do, like here on in real life. That's what art is all about, and you can uh, do your research and be honest and true and respect the topic, and you can make a game about anything and have it still be fun to play. Wow, it's great to see games being used to explore different issues and themes. Entertainment and social impact can absolutely go hand in hand. Now, let's get the awards going with the game concept categories. Coming up with an intriguing idea can be difficult. It feels like all the best ideas have been taken already. What makes for an interesting game that can hold the player's attention for more than five minutes? <laughs> well, luckily, I've been using BAFTA's YGD Game Idea Generator app to help me develop my own unique game. And you can too, if you're interested in taking part next year. <laughs> Look at this, environment, ocean. Okay, the goal is to escape Genre, action, that's me all over. <laughs> Rules, can't do the same thing twice in a row. Okay, okay, and the wild card, fruit. <laughs> Love me a pineapple. All right, let's check out the nominees for the 10 to 14 year olds. Game concept, 10 to 14. Atello. Cataluna Caper. Eco Warriors. Spin Out. Super Babies, the platform game. The Lost Crystal Shards. The Virus. Tiled in Twilight. Umbrella Blast. Zerophobic. And the BAFTA YGD goes to Tiled in Twilight by Jasmine Guan. I'm Jasmine Guan, and for the BAFTA Young Game Designer Competition, I've made a concept called Tiled in Twilight, where you light up a house by playing nonogram puzzles. House. 
dark, you can't see things. You bring light to the house by solving puzzles. You find a sofa, you think, oh, I'm gonna light this up. That's a puzzle. You've just started a level by going up to that sofa. Nice one. I, as a eight years old, played Pokemon Picross, a nonogram game. There's puzzles and you make Pokemon from the puzzles because nonograms are cool. They're not like Sudokus, you don't put numbers in, you make pictures. What I enjoyed was the art because Seeing a finished product is really cool and it makes you really proud of what you've done and then you feel good and then you can just keep going and it's an endless cycle of feeling good about your work. Working with BAFTA would be really good to help me get into the gaming industry. Thank you for your time. Game over. Congratulations to Jasmine for her concept for Tiled in Twilight. What a gorgeous looking pixel art puzzler. I can't wait to try this one. I love me some Picross. Now, let's take a look at the game concept nominees, 15 to 18 years old. Game concept, 15 to 18. Abyss of Dreams. Carrier Pigeon, World Tour. Escape. Escape the engines. Managing Barry. Monster from the maze. Showtime. Slimescape. The Everglade Fairy. Velikor. And the BAFTA YGD goes to Carrier Pigeon World Tour by Jamie Williams. Hi, I'm Jamie and I design Carrier Pigeon World Tour. So this concept actually came about based upon an aesthetic rather than game mechanics, which is pretty different for me. The idea of a pigeon in the desert just kind of came to me one day and I really liked the contrast between like the purples, greys and blues of the pigeon and then the reds and oranges of the desert and also the fact that a pigeon just does not belong there and so from there I decided to build a story and game mechanics. I would really love to develop this project further and hopefully release it one day and I'm really excited to see where this experience with BAFTA takes me. Congratulations to Jamie for Carrier Pigeon World Tour. I tell you what, Lenny the Carrier Pigeon is going to need a promotion after delivering all of that mail. <laughs> Some unique game concepts there from all of our nominees that hopefully, in the future, our young designers will turn into games that I can get my hands on. Now, BAFTA young game designers enjoy huge support from the games industry, and the jury love getting involved in judging and supporting new talent. Let's hear what they have to say about the process and this year's entries. I was so honoured to be asked to be a juror this year for BAFTA Young Games Designers. I actually entered the YGD BAFTA competition three years ago, so I've been lucky to see both perspectives. It's always uplifting, energising to see what our young people are thinking of and where their designs are going. And as always, they're pushing the boundaries and going off somewhere new. The jury process is pretty robust. All of the finalists have produced amazing design documents that make it easy for us to understand what it's like to play their game. You then spend about a week getting to play through all of the games in your category and it's really good fun. We go into the jury, um, into a Zoom call. We want to, to influence others and be influenced by others and, and really have a strong debate about these games. And we talk about all the games on the shortlist 
We talk about pros and cons and compare them against each other. Everybody picks up on something different. And by coming together and sharing all of these moments, we're like, oh, I totally missed that. Oh, I didn't see that part. Yes, you really like that bit too. You see different perspectives and you see how one game has affected three or four people in a completely different way. And at the end of our discussions, we get to vote on the games we felt showcased the best of all the entries. It's a top secret process. Even we don't know who the winners are yet. So just like you, we're super excited for the winners to be announced. Initiatives like YGT are so important to the industry. It's a incredible motivation to push yourself in developing an idea, um, but you also get that industry recognition. BAFTA gives young games designers the tools they need to create their own games. This is the future of our industry. Um, we need to inspire the, the next generation of game developers to bring a unique perspective to, to the world of video games. And it showcases video games as a valid part of mainstream culture. As a judge, I felt really inspired to, you know, this this work by these incredible young people. It's just been such a joy to be part of the jury process and I had to pinch myself and remind myself what age group we were actually looking at. Some of the game ideas and themes were so mature and the artwork was just so brilliant and some of the pitch videos were fantastic. The calibre of the entries were excellent. I was so impressed by the games that were submitted. The quality was just so good throughout. It's really, really amazing to see. Yeah, it's been so exciting to play these games. <laughs> Great to see how much the judges enjoy playing your games and being involved in YGD. And now, on to our game making categories. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know, isn't this all about game making? Yes, but this is specific. These finalists have demonstrated not only that they love games, but understand how they are made. And believe me, that's a lot of work. Designing characters, programming logic, adding in sound, controls, and play testing. All that takes a lot of skill, talent, and patience. So, let's see the nominees for the 10 to 14 category. Game making, 10 to 14. Bomb Pong. Clones. Demon Boy Eglian Eye of the Portal Frog's Way Home Jungle Heist Le Nouveau Jeu des Sanges, The Monkey's Game Raiders Reprise Unearth And the BAFTA YGD goes to Eglian by Alfie Wilkinson. Hello there, I'm Alfie and I made Eglian. Eglian's a platformer shooter where you must shoot evil aliens with eggs. I originally made it for the Pixel Game Jam and my main inspirations were Downwell with its dual purpose mechanics and 80s arcade games with their easy to play nature. I think the biggest challenge was difficulty tweaking as I wanted the progression between levels to feel smooth. For me, winning a YGD award would mean the world as it would be the next step to accomplishing my dreams of working in the industry. What I'm doing next is getting a complete version of Eglin onto Steam later this year so I can have a commercial game out there. After that, I can't wait to work on more ambitious projects in the future that keep me learning and exploring this wonderful hobby that I love. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Congratulations Alfie for Eglion there. This title was made using free software that allows you to create a game inside your web browser. <laughs> no need for powerful equipment. Now, 
On to our 15 to 18 category. Let's check out the nominees. Game making, 15 to 18. Color coded. Day of life. Deep Sea Scuttle Fallen Heavy Sword Imagibot Saves Eden Green Paddles Penguin Skidaddle Robot Waiter Space Boys And the BAFTA YGD goes to Space Boys by Andrew Arwen. Hello, I'm Andrew and I made Space Boys, which is an action game where you use a flock of boys to fight enemies. As the name suggests, Space Boys is centered around the Boys algorithm, which is used to simulate the movement of birds flocking. This, along with inspiration from other games like Snake RX, basically makes up the core of the game. One of the biggest challenges of getting this game right was tweaking the algorithm so the movement of the boys felt natural but still controllable. Winning means so much to me, I put so much work into this project and this award recognises all that work. In the future I'd definitely like to continue this game as I have a lot of ideas for improving it. Thanks for listening. Congratulations to Andrew for Space Boys. Andrew was a previous winner in the 10 to 14 year old category. It's great to see him growing in the gaming space and I can't wait to check out what Andrew gets up to next. Incredible stuff there. And to all of our finalists, you have obviously put in a tremendous amount of effort. Keep it up, I'm really proud of you. And so are these special people. Hey, what's cracking, you guys? What is up, BAFTA Young Game Designers? I just wanted to congratulate all the nominees and the winners, and thank you for your really important contribution to this amazing industry, which is only going to get better with your participation in it. A massive congratulations to all of you finalists at the BAFTA Young Game Designers Award. I'm sending you all a quick shout out from Los Angeles, California, congratulating all of the BAFTA YGD winners and nominees this season. A massive congratulations to all of this year's YGD winners and all the nominees. Congratulations! Congratulations. Everyone. You folks are the future of gaming. We can't wait to play what you end up making. Hey, this is Joseph Forrest. I want to congratulate all the BAFTA YGD nominees and winners. Just wanted to say big congrats. Um, Exciting to see new people entering the industry and making cool stuff. Hello, fellow youth. It's me, young Tim Schaefer here to say congratulations. And also thank you, uh, really thank you for joining this industry because I think this industry will die if it doesn't get new ideas and new original uh, tales being told from uh, fresh voices. Congrats to all the finalists. I'm truly happy for you and jealous of how talented you are. Making games can be challenging, and putting your work out there is hard too. I didn't make any games until my mid-twenties, so you guys are well ahead of the curve. Keep going, keep stretching, keep imagining, and keep pushing the edge of what this industry is and has to offer because you all are its future. We're so glad that you're here, and we're really excited, I'm really excited, um, to play your games. So thank you. Congratulations. Congrats. Big congrats. Congrats again, have a good one. Well done, and keep at it. You are awesome. 
I cannot wait to see what you create. I cannot wait to see how you innovate. And I cannot wait to work with um, all of you because you're probably gonna be my bosses soon. So, you know, give me a call. Mm. No, seriously, like, call me. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for work. Call me. Congratulations to our winners and to all of our finalists. Being nominated by BAFTA is a huge achievement. Some people have worked in the industry for decades and never been nominated for an award. <clears throat> if you're watching now and thinking, you know what, I could do that, then there is no better time than the present to get involved. Whether you're an aspiring artist interested in designing fun, unique characters, a writer with aspirations for creating huge branching narratives, or a coder with ideas for original thought-provoking gameplay mechanics, there is a place for you. If you're inspired to enter next year's competition, just head to ygd.bafta.org and sign up for news and alerts. You should also keep an eye out for posts on our Twitter, at BAFTA Games. Speaking of which, if you've enjoyed today's show, then keep the conversation going by using hashtag BAFTAYGD and get involved across all of BAFTA's social channels. Let me know how uh, amazing I was. <laughs> And if you want to find out even more, BAFTA HQ in London is hosting a YGD Open Day on the 10th of July with guests and speakers from our terrific YGD partners. Check out the BAFTA website for more info and to get your tickets. Once again, huge congratulations to all our finalists and winners and thank you to the judges and YGD partners for their help and support in ushering forth the future of games. Now, all that's left for me to say is goodbye Stay safe, and hopefully, I'll be seeing some of your game entries next year. Oh, almost forgot these. I'll make sure these get a good home.